Well, Danny, you got a, a nice, a nice crowd. This is something you guys have wanted to do, and you're sort of getting closer now. Yeah, you know, it just it, it makes sense, and it's uh, it's very gratifying to see this. Um, you know, I told our guys uh, before we came over here. I didn't, I didn't really know what to expect. You know, this we haven't done this for whatever reasons. The program hasn't done this. Uh, uh, it's obviously time to do that. Um, you know, uh, the spring games always. Uh, something that fans look forward to, you know, and that that had because of weather and circumstances that I can't control, we couldn't do any of that. So that's when we said, "Hey, man, let's, you know, we're going to the Big 12. It's a new season. Let's do something and and make our players and our coaches available for for fans to come out." And I commend our fans. I, there's a lot of our players' families here, our coaches' families here. Spend a couple hours in out, you know, in the indoor where it's cool. I uh, have a lot of engagement is very is very satis satisfying to me. Um, you know, hopefully this is the start of of uh, you know of, of of what the games are going to look like and and what this program needs to continue to grow to look like as well. So just very excited about the Cougs right now. Last practice of the day today, Coach. Um, will be just scrimmage, obviously. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it'll be. It'd be the most game-like. You know, we really haven't had a scrimmage. We've we've had good, solid practices that a lot of situational work, and you know, I'm the referee, so to speak, and control the practices. So tonight we got referees. I told our guys also, you know, be thinking all day about you know the hard work that we've put on from a discipline a discipline perspective. Not to bring up last year at all but uh, you know from a discipline perspective what we've worked on uh, from a technique perspective what we've worked on uh, this will get treated like a game if we have penalties we enforce them if we have uh, sacks tfls touchdowns we we enforce them you know and so uh, looking forward to seeing what that looks like tonight our players are looking forward to seeing what that looks like tonight they're also looking forward to breaking camp tonight. You know, tomorrow we'll treat like a, a normal in-season uh, Sunday because uh, Monday we start school, and and our whole mindset uh, focuses and changes towards game uh, game week routine and UTSA as well. As you move into that in that next phase, Dana, did you accomplish what you? I know it's sort of a common question, but did you accomplish what you wanted to in, in camp here? Uh, we logged as many reps as we possibly could log uh, and I'm happy with that you know everybody's complaining about 103 degrees there ain't nothing you can do about it uh, you know for I can say this for 14 straight practices which is tonight's number 14 we've utilized this awesome indoor uh, for pre-practice stuff and some you know taking some of the, the reps off of them being outside and then going outside for 14 straight days and getting good work in. You know, we're not outside for two hours. You know, that's there's some danger in that. So, we we utilize this, and and we've we've had good work in here, and then we go outside, and we've had great work outside as well. So, uh, for 14 days, every box has been checked. Is this fan fest like, like to continue going forward? Sir? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Uh, this this is a new era for Houston. Uh, the University of Houston for the athletic department, you know, obviously football, this is a new era. This is Big 12, this is what it feels like. Been in this conference for 16 years, this is what it feels like. Um, you know, everybody says, how, mu how much is the Big 12 gonna help in recruiting? It's gonna help, you know, it, the schedule helps, but the game day feel needs to be a Big 12 Power 5 game day feel. That's why we're pumping season tickets, that's why uh, we've increased season ticket sales. You know, people need to be there and recruits need to experience a Big 12 Power 5 game day. I'm excited about that moving forward, you know. Um, you know, and then obviously that building that gets built outside that, that door right there, that needs to start in December, which it will. Uh, that would move the needle as well. You know, all the home games that you have, especially the, the first few weeks, is it is it big to, to grab that momentum? You know, with a crowd like this, say, hey, you know, we're going to need you guys to pack UTSA, TCU, Sam Houston, all, the, all those home games that you have. Even yeah, it, no question. You know, and you, you hear me start talking about that here next week. Uh, UTSA is a big game for us. It's our first game. It's our first home game. Uh, 
You know, there's been a lot said about my de demeanor in, in 10 days in Cabo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which, there may be something to this. I spent a lot of time studying our opponent. Uh, we'll put some stuff out on that. Uh, but uh, I'm going to start talking a lot about that. You know, that game one's important, man. You know, you, we went to San Antonio last year, and that thing was electric in the dome. A lot of Houston people were there. Uh, it was a great atmosphere. We need that same thing here, you know, and uh, I think it would be like that. Uh, that's the first one. I worry about the second one and the third one after that, and the fourth one, Sam Houston, what, whatnot. Uh, but, you know, starting on Monday, it's all about UTSA. You had so and what we can do for that game one atmosphere. You had so many new pieces, uh, this is the, like in June, and even now where you finally got everybody together. Did anything jump out at you now, now that you had a chance to see them? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I didn't specifically talk about depth chart or, you know, who those guys are. Uh, but, yeah, it's made our team better. Uh, we worked hard in June and July, harder than we've ever worked. I mentioned this first day of camp. It didn't feel like first day of camp because of how much work we did in June and July. Um, largely because we added 21 people that have experience, you know. And once the depth charts start coming out, you know who these people are and all that. Obviously, it starts with the quarterback. You know, Donovan has had an incredible June, an incredible July, and a really, really, really good two and a half weeks of camp. He's the clear-cut starter. You know, that, that, whether that's breaking news or not, I don't know. Our team knows it and our team's felt it. Um, you know, Lucas Coley's battled and he's done well. Um, Uwe Ale is somebody to keep an eye on. He's young, he's talented, he's caught our attention. So I, I feel good about where our quarterback room is right now. But look, this is Donovan's team at this point. But, you know, there's a lot more examples than that. We'll, we'll figure that out once the depth charts come out. To feed off that real quick, sorry. Uh, will it be important for you to get everybody some experience early in, these, in the season so that as you go, uh, as possible? And, I mean, in a perfect world, yes. You know, but, you know, who our guys are that we've settled on is who the starters are, who the rotational guys are, who the backups are that are forced to play because of unforeseen circumstances. Um, it's all about winning. Whatever we got to do to win, um, I don't. I don't think in terms of that perfect world. Every game we play, we get people experience that can continue to use game experience to uh, to become better. I mean, it's two weeks out, but at that specific position with Donovan, uh, like you like you joke about, it's it's breaking news. Is it was it important though to, to? I mean, the team knows, but I mean, is it important that? public knows or that you know that it's that I it's think so uh, I, at this point I think it is JD just because people are asking a little bit <clears throat> and you know to, to, in Donovan's defense it's not it's not close I mean he's just he's the, he's a vet he's gotten better and better I thought it was important for them to truly compete you know for for 10 practices or two weeks or whatever it was they were competing and you know we did the same thing with Case Keenum and and, and Blake Joseph back in 2008 you know and I know I'd mentioned this about talking with Case about it but when it's a competition and one guy like does this you figure out who your guy is and I want those other quarterbacks to continue to improve and continue to compete because they have to Donovan's a starting quarterback